Um, so that's, that's all you need to know. Beautiful is a skin like concrete that find no riff or crack even when marched on for centuries, skin like asphalt. Dark as griot narratives in Ashanti tribes, beautiful is a skin like fire. If I didn't learn to love mine, I would have been crucified by it. Sankofa after Black Dada. My mother and father are both immigrants. Both planted me so deep underneath foreign land, I actually started to believe my roots were deep here. Started to lose touch with my homeland and started to think a rose in concrete could ever be as beautiful as one raised in its own soil. My father doesn't speak a lick of Creole in the house. Only raised three fires with a burning tongue that sat in between his teeth and feared that he would carve the wrong language into our throats. My mother, afraid of her own native tongue nesting in ours, taught me the word love before I knew what it was supposed to sound like both more willing to adopt a new language than to blant a broken Africa onto our lips. I didn't know I was Haitian for the first five years of my life. The 10 in between I didn't want to be. School was a clenched John. I was bullied the moment students heard my last name. Watched it unravel from the shadows when it fell off my teacher's tongue at attendance. Toussaint was an island that my skin wasn't light enough to hide. I was Haitian and not everybody knew it. And those who are fascinated couldn't compliment me without setting fire to my chest like, no, you cannot run your fingers through my hair. <laughs> like, yes, I do have good hair. Like, no, it's not good for a Haitian. And what makes good hair anyways is if my hair was a blessing that sprouted from my cursed skin. Like, when did this become cursed skin? This black only gave me reason to love myself. Reason number one, we knew how to, paint, we knew how to paint freedom in black before anybody else did. But I guess freedom ain't got nothing to do with love. Started diving into conversations, hoping that this one was rose petal. I've been dealing with thorns too often. And even when you get them out, scars start to show. I started to deny being Haitian, pulled port prince out of my lips and started rolling my R's more than normal until Monday's unclenched this jaw just enough for me to smile through it. Smile with that same girl who so told me she hates my people because we do black magic. Wanted to say, if we do magic, then you do stupid. Smile with the boy who said he hates my people because we're poor. As if our school wasn't a block away from gentrification and he ain't live a block away from my poor ass. Smile with them. Half forgetting I'm black. Half wanting to believe that. Whole regretting I pulled the black out of my skin like a moon set. I've been black moon, black sun. Black sunrise for the last five years. I've been black sunrise skin. Misunderstood love to let the lips of Nina Simone and Motown record black and proud James Brown. I heard my skin beautiful before I saw it. Found compa tucked in my twang just enough to make a conversation two step. One's for each rose petal. I love me not and I love me as so as long as I'm on beat. I know how this ends. Music saved my black. Taught me more than back pocket pride that I can stash my black in the melody and play it back whenever I forget what love sounds like. So this is for you, who forget too. This poem is for you to hum to. It will love you when nothing else knows how to except for a song. But a song is enough. Because black dada is enough. And yes, I am a zoe. Tatted on my chest I am and tattoos are timeless. And this love is timeless. And my skin is timeless too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah.